G'day guys, Steve Morgan here, Fishing Monthly Magazines. We're down the Jumpin' Pin in South East Queensland. I've got Mark Johnson with me from Horizon Boats. Now, Horizon, a real mover and shaker, especially in these COVID times. They've got a new factory. They filled it up. We went there this morning. It was growing again. Um, you've had orders for more Horizons than ever before, haven't you, Mark? We have, Steve. It's been an amazing year and, uh, and a great, great timing because our new factory's given us a room to meet that need. Yeah. Now, Horizons have typically been very family-friendly, entry-level boats. Uh, clinkered sides, good price point, but, but you've, you've actually upped the ante with, these, uh, with the new Horizon plate models. Tell us a little bit about the technology which is going on under the deck with these. Uh, Steve, we've, as you say, we've been a family-style boating uh, company for a long, long while, but we have built and we do build a number of commercial boats, SES boats, boats for other brands, so we're a big manufacturing business and uh, Horizon bringing the plate boat range in is, is a sort of a melt of all that technology, all that, all that learning and all that, that, that know-how that we've got um, that we've decided to introduce into the range. Now tell us about the Horizon plate. Obviously we know about plate aluminium boats. They're very smooth lined and they're very tough. What have you done to make these things bulletproof? Uh, the underfloor construction, so the whole construction of the boat is really, really solid. We have uh, a, what we call a grid core construction and uh, that is a, a, a core manufactured out of a grid of full height bulkheads and frames um, from the floor to the hull so that once again it's a solid solid build. So that's under the floor covered Mark. What about above the deck? This is a this is a boat with the superstructure and the cockpit space to keep everyone in the family happy isn't it? Yeah the, uh, the, top, the absolutely Steve the top of the boat and, and the bottom sheets are all four mil um, and fully welded so it is a really solid construction. The cabin has got plenty of room uh, below, uh, 1800 long bunks in this model and the target bar. On, on this 585 as shown behind us um, it's got the optional target bar and the bimini so there's plenty of shade, plenty of room to get out of the, uh, out of the weather. So this boat it's powered by Yamaha's F130, a 130 horsepower outboard but that's not the maximum horsepower for this hull is it? No, uh, right up to 150 horsepower um, and it's got a 250 litre fuel tank so there's plenty of range, even fully loaded. Now, when we picked up the boat this morning from the factory, uh, came on a twin axle trailer, and it's a pretty imposing package. Like it's taller than my head when it's on the trailer. How hard is it to, for the average family that might be reasonably new to boating to to handle? It seemed pretty easy to get in and out of the water. Uh, it is, Steve. It's very easy to handle, but it wouldn't fit in a uh, suburban garage. So you would have to have somewhere to put it. Yep. The targa folds down, uh, lowering the height. Yep. But it is a big, yeah, it is a big height boat. I did notice also that uh, that the boat sits up on top of the trailer guard, so it's uh, so it gives it that extra height. But you have got that uh, fold-down boarding ladder, so getting in and out of the boat while it's on the trailer and loading for the day and unloading at the end of the day is actually pretty easy. Yeah, we've uh, transom doors are standard as well, so that access in and out is, is easy. Uh, because of the big 2.4 metre beam, which is the maximum beam, is the reason it sits up on the trailer. Yeah. Well, we're down at the jumping pin. We've got the bar just around the corner, so we're going to uh, go out, take this for a ride, and come back to you with some performance stats.
Well, there you go. That's the new Horizon Plate 585 getaway uh, down here at the Jumping Pin on a perfect day on the water. We get criticised a lot saying we can't see these boats running in rough water. I challenge you to find some rough water on a day like today. Uh, powered by the Yamaha F130 horsepower outboard. Um, it's a neat rig and it was a great, shady, comfortable rig to be on the water with. Um, we've done the performance statistics for you. Uh, the most economical RPM was actually 3,900 RPM where it did 32 kilometres an hour at 2.2 kilometres per litre and the fastest speed it did was at 6200 rpm 58 kilometres an hour at 1.3 kilometres per litre but let me tell you that those performance stats uh, are running a prop which is too small um, the guys played with this one yesterday it actually it's running a 17 inch k series uh, yamaha prop at the moment uh, an 18 or a 19 inch should be what you need to bring those revs down a bit and to bring that economy up so just uh, note that that when you're looking at those performance statistics that the prop does need to be made a little bit bigger. Um, even with those statistics though, with a 250 litre fuel tank, you get well over 500 kilometres of theoretical range out of this boat, uh, which is enough to take you on some great adventures up and down the coast. Now, what did I like about this boat? One was the long cabin. It is a big, long cabin that you can lie down in and you can uh, get out of the elements and in the shade. Um, and I also liked it the, uh, behind the dash on the cabin that the electronics area has been finished off nicely. There's not just wires hanging everywhere that, uh, that you can accidentally knock out or get involved with. There's a nice little bulkhead there that keeps them out of the road. Um, and I also love the fact that the dash in front of that area, uh, you can flush mount big electronics into it. Anyone spending this much money on a boat is going to want to put good electronics in and flush mounting them is definitely the way to go. Um, a negative uh, for the cabin was the fact that uh, I would be putting the carpeted option on it. A little bit loud at the front when you're running through some choppy water, um, but that carpet will dampen that significantly. So if you've got the choice, I would definitely put the carpet lining on the, uh, on the cabin. Um, also, it's a little bit to get used to these runabout front cabin style boats. Remember, there's a lot of weight up high and you're sitting a long way forward in these boats. So you sort of nearly need to drive them a little bit differently than you drive a walk around or a boat where you're sitting further back, something like a centre console. Um, be prepared to have to distribute the weight evenly because if you put all the weight on one side, they will tip over as you're running. Um, trim tabs on the bigger versions can solve that, but also clever weight distribution can do that as well. Uh, also, you're sitting a long way forward, so there's always a comfortable speed to go and the comfortable speed in these boats may be a little bit slower than something where the weight is a little bit further back. So this boat weighs in at just under two tonne on this twin axle trailer which means you can get away with the mechanical override brakes uh, and you can tow it with nearly anything. This being towed with an Amarok at the moment which would eat this up. Uh, any twin cab ute or large family car will be able to tow this rig. Um, for more information on this boat, and it costs $62,990 as tested for a plate boat, that's, uh, that's good value, um, visit horizonboats.com.au, see any of the 30 Horizon dealers around the country, or go and like Horizon Boats on Facebook for any of the latest deals, new models and updates.